Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome once again back to the channel. I have a donation request for a new band, care of Robert Pretorius. I hope I pronounced your last name correctly. And this is Ninjin Isu, Heartless Scat. I'm totally flying blind on this. I have never heard of them. I don't know anything about them. So I will be relying on probably some of you for information about this band, but I am always excited to check out new artists or new to me artists. If you are excited to check out all of my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, click the bell for notifications so that you will always know when another video comes out. And if you would also like to do a donation request, there is a link in my PayPal down below. Without further ado, let's check this one out. I have closed captioning on as well. Wow. Are these the actual guys? Very cool gu guitar riff. Wow. <laughs> this is my kind of music now. Oh man, okay, this is so awesome. Robert had mentioned that um, I had I had said in another video that I was too old to be a rock star. And he said, you're never too old to be a rock star. This guy is living proof. And I can see now why he sent me this video. So I stand corrected, Robert, you are never too old to be a rock star. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be going on the road anytime soon. I have zero musical ability, but these guys are awesome. Love their guitar. Oh yeah, good bass. Oh 
Oh, they're switching it up, totally. Now this guy, is it called a kabuki mask? I think that's maybe what he's trying to emulate there with like the facial expressions and the white face and the dark mouth. I also love how this guy and the lead guitarist slash singer have this traditional Japanese attire, but then their drummer is dressed in, you know, regular average clothing. It's kind of like a cute little mashup. It's like three different songs so far in one. reminds me of something. 
Wow. Fantastic. For some of you out there who probably don't know, well, most of you probably don't know, that my husband, Caveman, was actually born in Okinawa, Japan. He is not Japanese, but his father was stationed there, so he lived for the first few months of his life in Okinawa. And he had a little baby kimono, and it was the cutest little thing ever. If I find a picture of it, I will put it up on here because it's the most adorable thing you've ever seen. But I guess these guys have been around since the 80s. You know, if you saw this older gentleman walking down the street, you would not think that he ripped up a guitar the way he does. I love being shocked and surprised in a good way when I see bands like this that seem so unassuming and then they just kind of blow you away when you hear what they actually play. This is definitely one of those instances. <laughs> So I thank you so much, Robert. This is fantastic. And like I've said so many times before, Japan is taking over rock and heavy metal. Imagine if this guy was your grandpa. I think coolest grandpas ever would probably be James Hetfield and this guy. <laughs> Let's go visit grandpa. And then he just like slays the guitar for a while while you hang out. So thank you everybody for following along with me on this one. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.